On November 12th, Tampa Police Chief Mary O'Connor and her husband were pulled over while riding in a golf cart without a license plate, as seen in this body camera footage. Is your camera on? It is. I'm the police chief in Tampa. It didn't take long for O'Connor to flash her badge and ask for a favor. Hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. The deputy agreed, but before they said goodnight, O'Connor gave him her business card. If you ever need anything, call me. Okay. Serious. All right. City Councilman Bill Carlson says it's an embarrassment to the Tampa police. Ethics 101 says that you shouldn't use your position to try to gain any kind of special privilege. And so, of course, when someone does that, we're all um, uh, disappointed by it. Carlson is one of two city councilmen who voted against O'Connor becoming chief of police this spring. He says he had concerns about her past and now feels this recent incident echoes one episode that came under intense scrutiny. When we interviewed her, she said that what happened in the past is in the past and it won't happen again. And so I'm surprised that something similar happened again because she promised us that it wouldn't. In 1995, when O'Connor was a junior officer, she was arrested during a DUI traffic stop where she was a passenger. Her future husband, seen now in the new golf cart video behind the wheel, was also the driver then. O'Connor was charged with battery of a law enforcement officer after she struck a deputy and kicked the windows of a patrol car. She was fired and then later reinstated at the Tampa police. Then, nearly three decades later, she was selected by former TPD chief and mayor Jane Castor as the best choice for TPD's top job. On Thursday, Castor called O'Connor's behavior unacceptable and announced on Friday she would be placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of an investigation. Carlson says he can't imagine O'Connor will stay on. This mayor has so many problems right now besides this. I can't imagine that that she's going to want to deal with this for very long. So I imagine that she'll resign at some point. But um, uh, it's, um, it's up, ultimately up to the mayor to decide that. Another council member said I spoke to today say that the video does not look good. They are demanding accountability and transparency in the investigation. All right, Kelly Cowan, live for us in Tampa. Kelly, thanks.